This is a 2002 Ditec that is suffering from wide open throttle um, power loss, full power loss. It um, runs well up to about 30 miles an hour, but then it starts to uh, uh, die off. Um, it also has on here, just as a side note, a uh, power LED outlet that you can actually charge the battery with and actually bring power up to GPS units and things like that with it. But in any event, the problem on this 2002 is over here on the other side. Um, trying to diagnose the problem more accurately so that uh, future people here on the DITEC uh, board can maybe understand from uh, my experience here what I've had to learn. I've basically connected this uh, fuel gauge. It's going here to the front of the injector and then this is the line here that would normally be connected to the output of the uh, fuel pump here. So we've just teed in this, um, this uh, pressure gauge. Now what we're going to do, I've already done this once or twice. Um, right now the gauge is, uh, I let it sit overnight so it's gone all the way back down to zero. And I'll show you how this one here is behaving. Um, basically, what we should see here is, let me get the camera to focus here if I can a little bit better. Eh, it's a little bit blurry, but not too bad. Um, basically, what we're going to see is when we key on the ignition, it's going to take multiple times for it to reach the two and a half bar. And then when we go ahead and start it up, it will go up to the eight bar. But what's going to happen is as we go to wide open throttle, we're going to notice that it drops down to four bar. Again, this is on the fuel um, pressure line. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and key on here. See, this is key on once. And how far did it get there? Let's see, with the first key on, we got up to maybe about one bar. And let's see here, with key on a second time. Yeah, we're getting up to about, yep, there we got our two and a half, three bar. So that's not too bad. So two keons. Uh, I imagine that the first time I had problems, just to let you know, it took many more times than that to get it up to full pressure. Um, I think that's because there was air in the line. So what I did here is I inverted the hose so that we make sure that we get all of the air bubbles uh, out of the line. But it may take a few keons to get that to go. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a start here. And that's a full on cold start right there. You can see it crawling up here. If I give it a little bit of gas, that was a full-on cold start. This vehicle's been sitting there for a good day and a half. We're getting up to about seven bar there. You can see the needle bouncing away there right around seven bar. If I open it up just a little bit. You'll see that we get up to about seven or eight bar. Um, Basically what's going to happen here on this machine is as I open it up, you're going to see that it's going to drop down to about four bar. Um, it probably will go right up to about eight bar with part throttle and then uh, it'll drop down.
this noise you're hearing is I've got it on my lift table. Um, I'm not sure if it dropped down there because I'm on the other side of the bike operating this thing. Um, so I'm not sure that it fell off to the four bar or not. Let me go ahead and open it up one more time, but that horrendous vibration noise, it's just because it's running on top of the lift table. pretty healthy those times. I'm not really sure it was falling off and uh, dropping down. Let me go ahead and uh, key off here. Now the other thing that I was watching for here was to see how fast the leak down is and um, it actually leaks down pretty slow. Um, so that was kind of an interesting run because I didn't really hear the motor cut out that time. Uh, historically it's been 